About a month ago, we bought the Costco's Wamo Super Slip and Slide. And I have an important update for you. We found all 16 straps. So let me show you where they are and why we missed them so this won't happen to you. Also, after a month of using the slip and slide, I have a better idea and I will give you an honest opinion. Should you spend $100 on a seasonal toy? And let me share with you a couple of games and activities to take the super slip and slide fun to the next level. Oh, and a very important and scary warning. So lots of information. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to our channel and become a member of the Sweet Cake family. Help our channel grow. Okay, so a month ago I told you we had eight straps and 16 pegs. Well, my daughter found the other eight straps when we were putting the slide away. What happens is that once you inflate the slide, it is hard to see the other eight straps. They are at the bottom, way bottom, basically under the slide. In my defense, the instructions have a picture, actually it's a photocopy of a picture, and it's very dark and it's hard to see where the straps are located. I still think that they could do better with the instructions and include a diagram or a drawing or even a lighter picture of where you can find the other straps. That would be very helpful. So here is the $100 question, or rather $99.99 question. Should you spend $100 on a seasonal toy? After a month of having the slip and slide and having multiple kids using it, I have a better perspective of the slide. If you have one young child or two, in my opinion, I will get a smaller slip and slide. Now, don't get me wrong the super slip and slide is a lot of fun but it takes you a lot of time to set up and tear down a smaller slip and slide it doesn't take a lot of time to set up it doesn't take a lot of storage and if it rips or tears what you spend twenty dollars fifteen dollars now the super slip and slide will take you at least 20 minutes to set up and you have to deflate it when storing it unless you have a big space to place it when not using it. And once your child is done playing, you need to move it away from the grassy area or the plastic will kill your grass. It is a lot of work for just one child, especially if he or she only plays on the slip and slide for 10, 20 minutes. Now, if you have bigger kids or you have a party, now let me tell you, this is the way to go. It is made of a sturdy material, and you can come up with creative games to entertain hyper kids or a bigger number of kids. Plus, older children can help you with the setup and tearing down of the slide, making it easy. Can we make it under 19 minutes? 18, 58, 59, 19, all right! <laughs> now the slide is for kids 12 years old or younger, and there is a weight limit of 110 pounds. So to be honest, who is gonna tell a teenager, sorry, sweetie, you are too heavy to be in the slip and slide. So keep that in mind. We had two parties, one with six girls and another with four kids, including boys. It was perfect. And so far, no tears or punctures. Now, when reading the Costco's reviews, of the slide, one customer stated that the body boards were defected, deflating quickly. That is what happened to us. The blue one did not stay inflated from the very beginning, the first day. Now, $100 is not a fortune, but it's not exactly packet change either. So here are some helpful hints to help you with maintenance. Place the slide in a debris-free area so nothing will poke through. Use a rake or leaf blower. Remember the age and weight limit. Don't leave it exposed under the sun and weather for long periods of time. The summer sun is the number one enemy to plastic. Also, it will damage your lawn. 
this is how our grass looks after a slip and slide party. If I know my daughter is going to use it for several consecutive days, I flip it over so it doesn't stay two days over the same patch of grass and even move it to another area on our lawn. If you know you will not be able to use it for several days, deflate it, rinse it, and store it. But place it in an area where your pets or tools, lawn mower won't get to it. And if you know you're not going to use it for several weeks or you are done for the season, let me show you how to store it properly. connecting hose, the adapter for the hose, I don't know what was in here but I'm keeping it just in case, the two boogie boards, the instructions, and the pegs. Even though they are not sharp or too prickly, I am going to put it inside of this cardboard, um, cardboard box that it came into. That way they don't poke my slip and slide. So I want to make sure that we store it properly. Let's see if it all fits. I'm sure I have plenty of room for the pump, but we might need a pump, so I'm just gonna keep it with our tools. But this is how you store properly the super slip and slide, so it will last you for at least three or four seasons, hopefully. And you know what everything is. You don't have to remember where are the pegs, but this is how we do. So this is ready to be stored. Now for the fun part. Use a water gun, to shoot at a ball and see whose ball crosses the line the fastest. I put painter's tape to make a finish line, play bowling ball with cones or bottles filled with water. Woo! Oh! We even had some kids who decided they would be the bowling ball. We also had a huge inflatable ball that added a lot of fun. And to improve the sliding experience, use some bubble solution, mix it with water, and that will make them slide even faster. Now, the warning. And this is why it is a good idea to store your slip and slide once you're done using it. It's right there. My daughter was flipping the slide over to use it again, and we found a bee sitter. Now, I don't care if the snake was venomous or not, a snake will scare most kids, and it did scare me, so be careful. This uninvited guest made it under our slide in just one day. Uh, that was scary. Now, if you get the Costco's Wamo Super Slip and Slide, or the $20 Slip and Slide, or even 
some water balloons, a hose, <laughs> make some sweet treats, invite your families and friends, and make some memories. The summer stages go by so quickly. Have a sweet summer.